the collection as a very description of who he was um, as an individual, and it gives us an insight to his private life and his interests. And we see many connections between his private life and then his public life. So I think it's really yet another kind of uh, window into the mind of an extraordinary man. Every time we actually made an acquisition, it would, for that moment, be his favorite piece. And I think that that probably stands true to most collectors. I think what really stands very clear to me is the, the modern British picture collection. Pe pieces like Mrs. Mounter or the Bellany, it was the high-low that he enjoyed, that he has Mrs. Mounter by Gilman, which is the most extraordinary piece. But also he saw joy in a purchase of David Bellany, a, a, you know, a Port Seaton piece. So I think it is a very tricky question to answer, and I think particularly for David, who is such the extraordinary man, and such the maverick and the mad pie, it would be hard to pin him on a piece. Um, not to say we didn't try. One of the things that I had was just keeping up with David. I mean, he was the most energetic man I've ever met. Um, so we suffered from sheer exhaustion, from calls early in the morning, late at night, from, from requests to come to London and see many things. Um, and I think that the journey was not complicated because he was quite methodical about his collection. It shows in a way, you know, as with his music, what an incredibly sort of like broad range of influences he really relied upon. You know, this extraordinary collecting journey that David Bowie went on, which was really his most personal passion. Uh, you know, he was on record as saying that, you know, whenever he wanted to accumulate anything at all, it was art. And I think, you know, what you see around us is, is very much a kind of lifetime's application to this incredible pursuit and it's you know it's really eclectic that's the other thing i mean here was somebody who was incredibly well informed he read it voraciously on all the artists that he collected all the movements that he followed and uh, you know the results around us are you know really tantamount to a great museum collection